Hello everyone, I'm Yue Tingwang from Tsinghua University. Today I'm happy to show you with this paper. Face sight, enabling hand-to-face gesture interaction on AR glasses with a downward-facing camera vision. This is done in collaboration with Chen, Yingtian, Yuhang, Yukang, and Professor Yuan Chen. Face sight fixes a one-angle infrared camera onto the nose bridge of an AR glasses, which loses downward to provide unique sensing capabilities of users' lower face and all hand behaviors on and around the face. In this work, we focus on sensing hand-to-face gesture to input AR glasses. Researchers have shown that the hand-to-face interaction not only inherit the benefit of haptic, ice-free, and always available on body input, but also embedded semantic gestures. Related to different facial parts, they are intuitive and easy to learn. Also, AR glasses are hand-worn devices, they involve contact with face, which is about to sense gestures performed on the face with embedded sensor. This benefit together bring great potential for per- performing hand-to-face interaction on the AR glasses. Our method is to deploy an IR camera on the AR glasses. This configuration brings three benefits. First, we can set the numinous intensity and the range of the infrared lighting source to illuminate only the face and the hand while keeping the background almost dark. This not only simplifies the algorithm, but also reduces the privacy concerns of capturing the surrounding environment. Second, our target can be captured in close and high-resolution images, so that it is possible to detect rich and subtle hand-to-face gestures. Third, the phone factor is compact, which is crucial for the design of wearable devices. We first explore the design space of hand-to-face interaction with the help of face sight. The dimension contents, touch location, tapping and swiping, symbolic hand gesture, and the nose deformation as input. The nose deformation can be used as a continuous input signal to enable normal nose-based input technique. For example, one can control a scroll bar by pushing the nose or using different pushing pressures to trigger discrete functions. Hand identity, use the right hand or left hand, and the number of touching finger. In total, we propose and evaluate 21 hand-to-face gestures in this work. We implement a real-time pipeline. Given a grayscale input image, we first segment the hand facial skin according to the brightness variation features. Then, we run a geometry rule-based contact detection method to detect face touch and recognize touch location. After that, we train different CNN models associated with different touch locations to classify the hand-to-face gestures. Finally, we further run corresponding methods to determine the required intervention parameters, such as estimating the nose deformation by tracking the geometry features of nose contour in continuous frame or located finger T for swiping input. We totally collect 40,400 touch samples, around 119,000 images from 10 users, in our evaluations, our method achieved around 83% in recognizing all gestures simultaneously in this data set. Based on the result, we developed example AI applications to demonstrate the usage. Including video player, users can gently touch nose wing for fast forward or backward, tap nose tip to pause or resume, or literally push nose wing for playing next or previous video. Users can also swipe on the cheek to scroll a page or perform cover mouse gesture to automatically open voice assistant, which will close while user releasing the hand. Note that the huge object in the left half part is the camera. The obvious blocking issues happens only in the screen recording mode, but not in the real case. We, we let 10 participants use our system and collect their subjective feedback. The results show that our interaction techniques are highly accepted by users, and the phone factor really narrows real-world view because of camera physical protrusion. FaceSight also has the potential to apply on another platform, such as virtual reality or smart eyeglasses, to control IoT device. To avoid a video touch problem, we can design a more switch gesture to let users specify the interaction mode or repeat the action twice to confirm the intention. For a limitation part, we need to test our algorithm in more complex environment and research more lightweight algorithm so that we can deploy our method on the AR glasses. That's all. Thank you for your listening.